excited uh, that you are here with me today. We have a little kitty war going on at the moment, so pardon the tussle you hear in the background. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. I thought we all buy these beautiful things. So we see the products, they're gorgeous. And now Alt New gives us so much more inspiration because we don't get it all in one day. We get a few days of inspiration. How exciting is that? However, it's more inspiring and we so want to use these products. Hi, everybody. Hello and welcome. It's so good to see to see you um, again. And the lovely Han is behind the badge today. So let's give a shout out and welcome to Han. She will be going with all my quick turns here. Um, so uh, yeah, so I had some things that came in in the beautiful purchases that I make that are still in the packages. They're still in there. Do you guys do this? Does this happen at your house too? You have beautiful things in the package. Beautiful things in the package. So we got to fix that. We're going to fix that today. We're also going to play with the stamp wheel a little bit too, because it's just fun. It, we got to do it. So it just has to happen. So very exciting. I'm pulling a few things um, from the release before last. And I'm also pulling something that, again, brand new, ready to go. Not good. We need to get some crafty love and ink on here. So this has been in my cart for over a year, maybe two, and I finally treated myself to it. So I'm so excited. So we're going to use that as well today. Let's get crafting because I could talk to you guys forever. So let's talk and craft all at once that way. At least at the end of the hour, we have something pretty to show for it. So as you can see, I do have the stamp wheel out today because... As you may have seen, there's a beautiful video that Alt New has done. The stamp wheel is not just good for stamping. It's amazing for stenciling as well because it's got that sticky base in there for us. All right, so excuse my lighting. We probably will use it a little bit with the base um, today because I am going to stamp a sentiment from the set that I'm going to share with you. But first and foremost, I'm just going to get, I just need that sticky base to get us started today. Well, let me close this little window. I got to see what you guys are up to every second. I'm very excited. So this is the stamp set that sat on my wish list for years, years. It's called More Than Words and it came from 2017. And it's just, oh, the fonts I love when they mix like a really thin line font with this beautiful scripty sold. Like it could say anything and I'm sold. So got that. We're also, look at all these packages we're opening today, my friends. I got the order and I was like, oh, I'll open it tomorrow. And then tomorrow turned into a couple of weeks. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the flowers and petals today. I'm so excited. Look how cute. Great for spring cards, Mother's Day cards. I can read out those sentiments, yes. And also, uh, the lovely hand will put the link in the, in the chat box. So the sentiments have, I love you more than words can explain. Right here, every day is worth remembering. Live in the moment. Life is beautiful. Simply amazing, which you all are. Dream big. And it doesn't get any better than this. And it doesn't get any better than us crafting together. So very, very apropos fitting stamp set for the day. Very excited, as you know. And yes, the stamp wheel. Yes, yes, it's very exciting. Okay, so the fun thing is, like I said, we'll use it. You know, stamp wheel has so many purposes. It will be, it'll never leave your desk once you get it home. Then I thought maybe we'll play with the little circle frame. Um, this is wonderful because it is a mask stencil. So you have the mask and you have the stencil. So you can either put a circle opening on your project or you can block out a circle on your project. So a couple different options there. As well, I also have some random pieces of cardstock. <laughs> so... And then I also pulled in hand, this is our first, our first quick turn here. I pulled out far out phrases 
because I haven't used this either. I think this was the same release and I'm so excited about it. And then we had the XO, XO and more. I don't think we'll use the photo frame, but it's just too cute not to show you. Look how cute that frame is. It's just adorbs. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm very excited to craft as always. So I've got, hello everyone. Hello as you're coming in. I do have my uh, ink blending tools off to the side here. I got some colors. I'm bobbing. I'm weaving. I'm ready to craft. All right. So I am going to put this down. Okay. And then I'm going to open dun, 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 the unveiling of this gorgeous stencil set. I think this was the first thing I added to my cart too. How sad. It's the last thing getting used. I did use the groovy the far out, the far out man, the far out phrases this morning um, on a project. And I was so excited. I was so proud of myself. So look at this magic. So you can either put it, you know, with, with your stencils as, as you do. When you do your stencils, you can, so there are little lines. Okay. See, like you can see this is where the design stops because there's like a corner Okay, and there's a corner there. There's an obvious corner. There's an obvious edge. So you can line that up. You can still line your paper up with that if you would like to. Uh, oh, why not? Okay, so then I'm just going to push this down and it's sticking to my photopolymer. Terrific. Love it. Now, this piece isn't sticking down much. So I just have to remember that when I'm ink blending and not go too wild. LOL, you guys know I go a little wild and crazy. All right, a sip of Moxie, because I have not had enough caffeine today. Again, LOL. All right, let's begin. And if you have any questions, keep in mind, Altenew always gives you a layering guide. If there's a layering going on, there's always a guide. Okay, so on the inside of this one, if you get, let's say, the Craft Your Life Kit or the Build-A-Garden, those are in the stamp set, generally. I don't want to say always, because it may there may be a set in the future that it may be different. But generally, those are always in the stamp set. But when you get a layering stencil, you're going to get this beautiful guide. Not only does it have the layering guide, okay, a completed project, all of the colors they've used, which match the colors over here, Okay, so you can easily repeat this project if you want to. The other things they've used. What happens in my craft room and is the most useful in my craft room is this. I always point this out in layering <laughs> guide videos and you guys are probably like, why does she care? What? Why there's, why there's a picture of the stencil in the back? Why is that important? Well, um, say somebody likes to clean. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's do a safe guesstimate and say 20 stencils at once. Difficult to know where they go. But if you look at this thing right here, this amazing photo array, you know right where your stencils go. So I always point this out on the back. It's not the most fun and exciting, you know, part of the uh, packaging, but it's very useful if you mix up your stencils. So keep that in mind. And it also shows you back here that this is at 30% of the size of the stencil. And in here, this is 35. So that tells you the size. This is 100%, this card. This is um, an A2 card, I believe. Let's just double check me. And yes, A2 card, 100% size. So you can layer your stencil up on it if you need to. Say you lose your layering guide, we have them on the website for you. We want to make sure that you have access to these amazing guides. All right, so today we're going to go wild because I know that the girls behind the badge love, love, love the seashore, as we all do. I chose seashore today. And so we're going to do seashore and we're also going to go ahead and mix it with Martian terrain. We are going wild today. And thank you for the sharing. I so appreciate that you're sharing all of this with folks out there. We're going to do some Volcano Lake. Now, you have a choice. You can use whatever size blending tool you want. You can use the big fella. You can use the small. Or you could use the mini. 
Now, the minis get into some nooks and crannies. We also have detailed, which are kind of good for these stencils if you want to add in some extra detail to certain areas, or if areas, like if there's a leaf and a flower close together, these are handy. These are angled, okay? That's the great thing about the detailed. Just a quick run through of the brushes. These are angled, okay? I keep one for each color, and I just... Uh, stamped it out with a star stamp and cut it out with the die and there we go. I now know those are my yellow blending tools. But today I'm going to go with my small but whatever works in your space because we want you to create beautiful things. So however it works best in your space, your crafty space, that's what we want you to do. Because we've got to get all this beautifulness that is going on with all the inspiration you guys have out into the alt new crafty verse. Okay, so yeah, I know I pick seashore a lot and I'm always like, oh, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Just please don't ever ask me my favorite. I always say that Rock Collection is my husband of all to new because I do love Rock Collection. I don't think there is one situation Rock Collection could not be helpful in. Love it, love it, love it. However, um, I also, depending on the day, I have some other loves, you know? <laughs> so, so now I'm just going to take, I'm not going to put this into the photopolymer. Um, I'm just going to take a piece and just begin to lift my stencil because see how it's sticking there? Let me start over here because this is looser. See? So look, it's sticking and it's, it's sticky, 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 sticky. Now what happens, say, if your sticky goes away because you're like me and you put your hand on all over it when you're moving stuff around, no worries. You just rinse it under water and it comes back to its perfect stickiness. I feel even stickier. I don't know about you, but like when I clean my stamps, I wasn't super stoked with some of my blending. So if you want to, I don't even know what's on here. I did a project this morning. I think it's emerald, but we're going with it. Um, but whatever, you know, uh, brain cramp, washing it. Yes, just feel free, run it under water, nice and sticky. I do that with my stamps too when they get like embossing powder or lots of ink or, you know, all that on them. And they always seem stickier and like brand new. It's all exciting. All right. So let's try again. Okay. I was a little off lining it up, but that's okay. I usually am a little off. Uh, yes. My all two husband. <laughs> I know it's almost impossible to pick a favorite. It's, it's like picking a favorite child. I mean, granted, I only have one, but I can imagine, you know. All right, so now we're moving to stencil two. Stencil one we did with Volcano Lake. Stencil two we are going to do with the Gorgeous Emerald. And I'm just getting this lined up. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure, like, most of my little hearts are kind of lined up and the bottoms are lined up. I'm a little in further than I was, I think, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This is a pattern. So this is fun. It's not like you're doing, hello, everybody. It's not like you're doing a floral where every single line has to be precise. This is fun. And you can use these stencils separate. So let's say you lifted this up and you're like, this is the magic. I'm done. Awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, because you're going to have a beautiful card. So you can go through, you could use one and four together. You could use one and three together, two and three, two and four, you know, mix and match. And that's what I love about these stencil sets is that it really, really is a bang for the buck, in my humble opinion, because you get all these four stencils but you can mix and match and use them together or not use them together. And you just have a lot of different options. Okay. And I've also gotten ink on my stamp wheel bait, the in the staging area. This is the stage. So in the stage, we have that photopolymer section that I was talking about being nice and super duper sticky, but does not tear your paper 
it is, of course, the perfect amount of tackiness. Um, I've also, I've already gotten redwood ink all over it and I just washed it off and there's a little hue of it because some of the darker colors, it's like when we use our stamps, but as you know, it doesn't affect anything. Um, I just rinsed it off and off I went. All right, so I may not be getting the darkness I'm looking for here. So let's bring out the big fella again, okay? Let's get this on. And then JC taught me this trick, the amazing JC. I, before, <laughs> would never use my mini cubes with my large blending tools. And then I saw him do that. And I'm like, uh, genius, genius, genius. So, yep. It's, you learn stuff from so many different places. Okay. Dexy boy is working on eating something that I don't think he's supposed to be eating, but that'll be a fun surprise for me later. You guys know we're always all working on projects. Okay. The other fun thing to do, and I think we're going to go ahead and do it because we are fun folks. We like to have fun. Okay, but just for a second, can we have the angels sing? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Are the registration holes? Um, no, there's, so it layers together. That's why there's the guide. So you can look for different points um, on there. Um, I think what you mean is like on some, I've seen like they have dots or something like that. These don't because they line up. They really do line up super duper easy. And there's really no wrong way to do it. <laughs> it's really because of the style of the stencil. All right. So we're going to move this to the side for just a hot minute. And we have this beautiful, beautiful stencil covered in the beautiful, beautiful ink. And so I have my water bottle. So we're gonna spray that. And then we're gonna grab a piece of a watercolor paper because this gives you another card. So we've already, we're gonna be making a couple if we take and use uh, some of the, uh, if we use a circle die, we can create two cards out of one panel. Now I would highly recommend doing this on watercolor cardstock Mine seems to have done gone up and went, as they say. So I'm just going to put down, and this is my famous puppy pad. I'm just going to put down regular cardstock. And, you know, I'm okay with it. I mean, I did put a lot of water. <laughs> I did spray a lot. I'm like, if you didn't put much water. But not putting much of anything is not really my jam. And then you lift it up. And look at the cool effect. And you can do this with each of the stencils. If you want to, you could keep layering them on top of each other, okay? But you don't have to, absolutely don't have to. So then I'm going to grab just paper towel, which I don't usually like to use with my stencils because sometimes you get the little fibers in your little stencil pieces and I don't like that, but I wanted to just get some of it off there because I'm gonna do a couple cards with this. So I've got one side and it feels wrong. I know you guys at home are going, but wait, there's more ink and it's pretty, stop. I can hear you and it is. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing this, okay? More background and in crafting, more easy cards, always better. Hello, hello. I'm sorry YouTube is giving you troubles. Okay, so now we're back, back to plan A. And if you want to, you can kind of wipe this off up along the edge. Now, you definitely want to use a microfiber cloth or um, like, uh, what do we call those? Uh, you know, we use them for babies, uh, the wet wipes, those types of things. I can just go ahead with... I just sprayed a little water on here so I don't have to move my stencil and just kind of get that. Or <laughs> I can, let me see, I can lift it up because we're going to put this stencil back down anyways. So if you want to make sure, okay, 
I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna spray my water. And we are literally squeaky clean. <laughs> We're having so much fun with puns today, you guys. I'm loving it. All right. Okay. Aw, thank you, Han. All right. So now I about know, okay, because when I when I make these, uh, that's why I kind of keep like one corner always the same. That way, when I go to put the next stencil, this, as you can see, pretty much fell into place. I'm liking where it is. So I'm just going to push this down and we are going to get started. Now, here comes the first choice. Okay. Are we going to go with Peach Perfect or Canyon Clay? What do we think? What do we think? Peach Perfect or Canyon Clay? If you put a P or a C, the first like 10 that you guys put in, or if you don't, I'll just grab one, <laughs> whichever. I know it's hard sometimes to chat as long as you're watching if you're doing other things as well. A C, we got one C. Woohoo! We got a C. We got a C, C. Oh, we got a P, P. Oh, P, 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 P. Oh, okay. What? Holy shnikey, I think Peach Perfect is going to sneak up and steal the crown. I don't know. Going to see, P, C. Next one takes it. It's tied. Next one takes it after Liz. What is it? Dun, da, da, da. It's nothing. <laughs> oh, we need one more vote. One more vote. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, it was a P. All right, we're going with a P. Woohoo! I love having those folks. That was so fun. All right, so Peach Perfect. We're going to go Peach Perfect. And I had, because my, my Martian train ones and all that got mixed up, so I got a fresh one. Well, it was fresh before I put it in the Peach Perfect. But. All right, so off we go. And if you want to, again, now you also, okay, by using the smaller ones, let me grab my random bucket. Using the smaller ones, okay, you can get some more concentrated color in there. I think I last used Autumn Blaze, so, which we may be going towards today. Woohoo! All right, so you can get more concentrated color. Okay, so you can come in from certain sides and you can add shadows if you want to get that involved. Or you can use the big brush if you just want to lay down the color and go. So it makes it faster if you use the bigger ones. But if you use the bigger ones too, you can kind of get almost a lighter color because you have more bristles that you're spreading that color out on. Now if I had brought out my... Uh, detail blending brushes, then I get right up in there. You know, I get all that color. All that color goes right in there. So I don't miss one speck of color. I get it all. Get it all. All right. So keep that in mind. If you wanted to add like a shadow to your flower or something like that, keep that in mind. All kinds of different brushes, all meant to help you get the perfect look on your project because that's what we want to do. We want to get that gorgeous project that has been created in your amazing crafty brain. And we want to get it out onto a card and out into the world, sharing the crafty love. I know the mini brushes, I really do. I today have gotten out my big fellas and I'm like, guys, I've missed you. Where have you been? So <laughs> I go through cycles. All right, so again, I'm just going to, this is kind of loose, remember, because the piece, size of the piece of paper, I put my paper in that corner where it ends. And then, oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Okay, now, while I'm going to wipe this stencil off, the tough decision you guys have is, are we going red or are we going orange. We are either going with Burnt Red or Autumn Blaze, B or A, in the chat, please, my lovely, lovely crafters. And that will help us decide where we're going today. 
Oh, orange. Beautiful. Beautiful. I know the peach. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of bottoms. Ooh, I think it's going to be pretty. And I have to tell you, full disclosure, complete honesty, it was an accident. It was laziness. It was on my desk. You can even, Han will vouch for me. It was not in my list of supplies. So Han can vouch for me. It was complete laziness that this beautiful ink pad is on my desk. But when that happens, I have to wonder, has the crafting gods, the crafting folks out there, the good crafting vibes, have they been sent specifically to make this my best project ever? Until, of course, you know, the next one. Because <laughs> it's always our best project ever until, you know, the next one. All right. So here we go. So I've got this in place. I'm just making sure these little flowers are kind of in the center of the bigger flowers. And that these openings, because when you look at the stencil, again, it's so sticky. My stamp already, again, my stamp, my photopolymer in there. You can kind of see these openings. So I kind of know there's something going in there, okay? But how cute would it be if you used our zero waste flower cover dye or some other little flowers and you put those onto the little opening spots and you didn't use the stencil? Let's combine more of those amazing products you have at home. All right, off we go. So we're going to go, and the beautiful thing about this is, is even though this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, darker color, it's number three in the family system. So it's, you know, it's up there. He's, he's, he's the darker fella. He's bringing the beautiful orange, gorgeous tone with him, but he doesn't have to. You can go lighter. It's all in how heavy handed you want to put this down. Okay, so that's all up to you. Totally up to you. All righty. All righty tighty. Okay. And right there. And you know, you can go through and you can, usually when I'm doing these, I try to be more consistent in my application, meaning, oh, pretty, pretty, please. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see we really wanted burnt red. Wow. <laughs> All right, we'll have to use burnt red on our next one. We will do it. We will, that just means we have to make another one, right? Right. And the good news is I don't really have to clean this one all too well uh, because, you know, it'll be good. Ah! I just stabbed myself with my little pokey tool. Don't do that. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Okay. Then just get a little space and see it's not tearing my paper, but it was nice. I don't have any residue left on there. I just have... A beautiful base for a card and shockingly a square card. <laughs> I don't make enough. Do you guys make enough square cards out there? Just just asking, you know, just 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 checking. All right, so let's go ahead and we will do one. We'll do another one. And actually, let's do this. Because I just happen to have this piece of cardstock here. Okay. Let's just show that you can use these stencils on slim lines as well. I'm just looking to make sure, okay, that's my second one. I thought I had cleaned my second one and not my first one. I'm not gonna clean it too much because we're gonna use similar colors. We'll stay in Seashore. We'll change it up just a little bit. Maybe we'll use Emerald twice just to show um, that you can I know, so I, I guess that's a Saskia claimed card because I've never sent one. Okay, so we'll put it here and actually I've got some beautiful ink splotch there. So we'll just flip it over. All right, and I'm just moving it over just a scotch because I wanna be able to get this kind of in the corner. Okay, and I may need to move my card down just a little bit, just so I am comfortable while stenciling, it will all fit. So again, 
These lines are going to be my guide. These are my guide. They're honing me into that spot where I want to line my stencil up. Okay, so I'm going to just put this down here. So let's just use emeralds for our green. And we will just use burnt red for our orangey color. Okay, so this one we should use. I know I had it. You guys saw me with it just a second ago. Oh my goodness, I've lost. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right next. It would have bit me. <laughs> it would have bit me. Holy shnikey. Okay, I get too excited when I craft, I guess. Hanging out with all of you and crafting. Does it get better? I don't think so. That's a quote from Clueless, if you. <laughs> I love that movie. Cracks me up. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly, I'm barely putting any pressure on this. Okay, and that's the secret to using the darker colors is barely, barely put any pressure. Now, I want to stay away from these little lines over here. Okay, and I want to stay away from that edge for sure. Because if I'm going to do a slimline card with the stencil, I got to be able to fake it because this is a square going onto a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to want to make sure I can kind of fake it. Okay, and I did a poor job because I did get a line and I did get those lines, but demonstration, demonstration. So now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to just flip this around, put this in here. We could always put a sentiment or a strip of cardstock there. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up in this corner except I'm going to flip it so everything's in the same direction. Okay, so I'm, I'm making it look like this was a long stencil. I'm just going to pay attention to right about here. If you need to, you could put your paper right about here. And then just when you get to that area, you're going to go even softer. Okay, so I'm still trying to go soft. I have not touched my ink pad yet. Just using all the leftover ink that was on there. And then I'm just going to kind of go really, really soft in through here. Okay. So I do have my line. I've messed up a little. That's okay. I can put a sentiment there. I could even cut a circle out, make it a shaker, all kinds of wonderful things. But here is our first layer. And if you're not talking and crafting like me, you won't get the line. Because you guys will be like, ah, I remember. All right. Do you remember? Okay, we're not going to sing. All right, so now we are going to take our panel and put it back in here. I thought we had two panels for some reason. I don't know why. I'm telling you guys, I've been crafting a lot today. I'm in the crafty zone. It's like in the, in the U.S. we have the commercial auto zone. And I've had a lot of caffeine. Full disclosure. <laughs> Full disclosure. I've had a lot of caffeine today. But you guys are used to me having a lot of caffeine. So again, I'm just kind of lining up these little hearts to where I want them. It doesn't matter. There's really no wrong way to do it. It's just kind of where I like it. And that's the thing I love, love, love about these layering stencils is that I can't do it wrong. And it goes where I like it, where I want it to go. Okay. So here's this. So now, now I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in heavy with the emeralds. I'm really right over here. It's on the edge. I'm really getting it on there now. Okay. I'm really putting it deep. I want that deep, rich, gorgeous emeralds color. Okay. So this is the full octane, no holds barred. Get all that gorgeous ink right on there. Okay. Do, do, do. We need some ink blending music because it does take a hot minute to get it ink blended. Do, 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 do. And then just be aware of your whoop line. Um, my whoop line is right there. My mother always says, whoop, whoop, from the uh, Geico commercial, Mike, Mike, Mike. So she's she's stuck with the whoop, whoop. 
She likes the woot woot. So my woot woot there. I got to be careful on my woot woot. Because we're going to do a little flip a -roo and nobody's going to know that this was a square stencil on a rectangle card. Because we're just creative folks. Okay, so same thing. See, I didn't kind of go all the way over there. So now I'm just going to flip it. And same thing I did. I'm just going to use this left side with the top left. Okay, so I'm just flipping the orientation. And then I'm just looking. Do I like where my hearts are lining up? Do I like where this is lining up? Is this making me happy? Because that's what it comes down to, my loves. That's all it comes down to. Is the outcome of this making me super, super happy? And if you're like, ah, I could have lined it up a little bit better, just means you get the honor and privilege of making another beautiful card. And you never know where that one's going to go either. So you may be more inspired creating it a second time or a third time. All right. And now I'm going to be careful again of the woot woot line. Okay. As we're calling it. And I can tell because it's really light in through here. Just going to kind of be aware that it's there. But again, this is kind of a stencil that it's not gonna, it's not like putting a layer of a flower upside down. Oh no, this one, Nancy, is not. This was actually, I think, two releases ago. It just happened to still be in the package. You guys know how that happens. We get all that amazing inspiration and we're like, oh, that's the best thing. I have to have this on my home, in my hands. And then, you know, life doesn't understand that we got new stamping supplies. So <laughs> we put it to the side. Sorry about my squeaking, but I'm squeaking clean. Um, so we put it to the side for the un momento. And then, you know, next thing you know, there's another beautiful, gorgeous release. You're like, oh, ooh. <laughs> so I uh, wanted to open some packages today. All right. So now we're on to stencil three. So all I'm doing is this left-hand side, when it's facing this way, I'm lining up the bottom left-hand corner. And this, the bottom, what I'm considering are these etched lines on the sides where it's flat, okay, where it would sit flat against my card. Then I just take a little peek a -roo. Does that look right? And there's a lot of open white space where I think it is. So I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Now, Promise the burnt red. We're doing just the burnt red this time. Okay. This could be a cute little Valentine's card. Little I love you dearly, my friend card. Lots of wonderful things you could do with this card. Okay. And I used this for peach, but it's now going to be Martian terrain. <laughs> oh, and I forgot we're going kind of light on this one so I can pounce off up here some because I forgot. So we're barely going to really put much pressure. Because remember, we're using the ink. These Now, emerald is number four in the family ranking. So emerald is the darkest of the bunch if you follow through seashore. And then this one, burnt red, would be number three if you follow through the family ranking order. So keep in mind, those are generally your more darker tones. But you can get these nice, light, smooth, gorgeous tones just have to really pay attention to how much pressure okay and for me that is a super struggle I am a Taurus I am a bull I am running through that china shop like especially when I'm crafting look out here I come and so yeah so I really kind of have to you know pay careful close attention that I have I want to go lighter and I want that look for my project Okay, and I'm just being careful because I am right on border town here. Okay, so bordering the green. So I'm just going to put my piece of paper there. So I cover my, my bets, my bases. There we go, bases. All right, so now because I want to take a peek of but I don't want to lift it up. I'm just going to hold my hand here. Uh, pretty good, but this guy right here could use a little bit more. I know you guys didn't get to see it. Got to have the full reveal when it's ready. When it's ready. Okay. All right. Maybe a little bit more down here. See, this is my problem. Then, I, then I'm like, no, it's too dark now. But if I just would have left it, 
All right. Ta-da. Look how pretty. This could even be beachy. It's like a tropical combo. I love it. I probably would not have put burnt red and seashore together. So thank you for pushing for this. It is very pretty. All right. So here it's easier because I can kind of see where flowers would be. I wouldn't put this flower here. Okay. Up at the top. This one I'm going to ignore. Um, although you could, you know, it's up to you in your space. Totally, totally up to you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. You guys are the reason I have this energy. Otherwise, I'm nodding off in the recliner. But when I know it's time to craft with you guys, I am ready to go. Like, oh, my friends are waiting to craft. We have to craft. Let's go. Energy is on immediately. It's like a crafty switch gets flipped. It's terrific. All right. So then again, I'm going to lift that up. And I have a couple that are, you know, <laughs> a little abstract and what is that? Avant-garde? <laughs> a little fancy, you know? It's all right. It's all right. All right. So then we can just bring in stencil, stencil four. And I'm lining up the bottom, okay, on that left-hand bottom corner. And then I'm just looking where they would fit. Now we're going full octane burnt red. Now I can unleash my inner bull in the china shop here because we want as much of this gorgeous color as we can pack in. I do have to be careful. I want to kind of stop about here. So as much as I'm unleashing the bull to run through the china shop, I have to be careful that, you know, he doesn't go out the door because we, we don't want to go out the door yet. We're not, we're not there, uh, but that's okay. All right. And this one right here. All right. And I think the rest will be good because when we flip a roof, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Oh my God, how pretty. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Now we're going to go and now we're going to align this left hand corner. Okay. And like I said, you see those open kind of white spaces that are kind of saying, I would love a flower to go here. A flower would look perfect here. So please feel free to put flowers wherever you feel flowers look best. I believe I am happy with this arrangement. I believe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Ask me in about 120 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. And just checking in. The color combo, yes, yes, it is coming together. I randomly looked and I was like, I don't think I've ever used, I mean, I've used oranges and blues to get uh, orange and, and uh, the aquas. But I don't think I've ever used Martian terrain with the aquas. And I'm like, I think it's about time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what Martian terrain and seashore together can do. And let me tell you, they're a pretty, pretty tough duo. They're pretty impressive together. All right. And I'm not worried about the extra ink on my stamp wheel. No worries. No worries at all. Okay, are you ready? Because this is the reveal. Okay, so this is the exciting. Oh, I think you guys are going to like it. So how's the weather? Wait, no. <laughs> I won't torture you anymore. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Now, the fun, the fun part for me. Now, and again, don't forget, you could have been going each of these levels and sopping up all the same, because my ink is still on there. I still can do it. You can still do that. And then I think the fun thing is, even though we used water on this, and we've got some kind of really cool abstract shapes, you can then come in and you can make it even more abstract, okay, by doing this. Now, if you want to keep it all water-based, but I'm going wild, bull in china shop, Okay. And again, this was just a random piece of regular cardstock. This was not watercolor cardstock. So I did have a little pilling because I was 
very heavy handed as always. I'm working on, that's one of my things each, each year. I have a couple things that I would really like to work on um, in my crafty space. And that's one of them is to kind of, you know, the joys of being light handed and, you know, taking, taking time um, to enjoy the light handedness in the projects that I'm creating. All right. So I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I'm sure it'll be beautiful. It's got that blue and the green. I really pushed this down. So eek, there we go. Just needed one corner. So again, really, really abstract, super cool. Then you could come in if you wanted to and add this in here, you know, so you can keep building on that. Even though you used watercolor uh, water and did that technique, you can combine techniques. And that may be super cool. Maybe on one layer, you put some embossing paste. Just saying, I don't get mine out enough. So if I can encourage folks to get theirs out more frequently, love to be able to do that. Okay, and I am so sorry for the noise. But it is, it's squeaky clean. It is squeaky clean and nice and sticky and ready to go. All right, so now we have this beautiful, beautiful card here. So what we can do, one of two things, we can leave it. Okay, we can absolutely leave it like that. But we're creating some cards today, so let's make some cards. So let's open this too. I have been waiting, 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 dying for this stamp set to make its lonely long journey to Maine, like for years. And I finally, finally uh, pulled the trigger on it. I was very excited. I'm like, yes, that's going to be in my office. I'm so excited. So it's here now also could also do something like that would look very classy and very pretty and i think that's the fun thing is that you can go a few different ways with these you can you know put on which we're we're just going to use obsidian and put on our sentiment um i really probably should in theory color uh treat it because it's still wet so Maybe that is a bad idea. Maybe I should trim those out. <laughs> I'm thinking as we go here, because I'm famous for, um, yeah, pouring embossing powder on. It sticks to the whole thing. and It just gives an abstract look. But that would be pretty as well. You know, maybe you put it in the center, maybe some enamel dots, you know, some more splatter, whatever you're feeling. All right. We... <laughs> Gonna live on the edge because as you know, when you craft with me, you usually do. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that spot that was the troublemaker, quote unquote. I'm just saying that he's not really the troublemaker. We love him. He's a good fella. Um, it's just where the stencils met. I'm going to actually, I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to put a sentiment that goes right across it so that the sentiment is bold and beautiful and is what you will look at. Let me just grab my flip top plate from my box. I put it in the box to keep it from the ever beautiful, the ever amazing Emery Casey because she loves to help with things even when really you, you don't need um, any help. So she just is a giver and uh, she likes to help even if it's not needed. All right, so we're going to do, I think we're going to do the I love you more than words can explain. All right. And then this is my area where it was a little, little questionable because, you know, I wasn't as careful about the stenciling as maybe I could or should have been, but we're having fun crafting. So it all goes out the window. All right. So I think this is lined up famous last words. I think this is lined up. All right. Now it's a slimline card, but it will hang out to the end. See, it's going to hang out the end down there. So I'm okay. I can do my slimline cards in here. Okay. Just peeling that up carefully. And now what I'm going to do, I am going to take my anti-static powder and I'm going to use it. Now, I'm not worried about making my platform unsticky because I can just go rinse it off and it will be sticky again. So I'm not worried about getting it on my 
little stage here. I'm okay with it, but I want to make sure that this is dry. This is good to go. And then we'll take an old makeup brush. Never used. I just got them off Amazon. <laughs> they were really super cheap. So it's not an old gross, like, you know, uh, I don't even know what that stuff is called that you put on first. I'm, I'm not a makeup girl. I, I use makeup stuff for crafting. So I'm not a makeup gal. Oh, so I don't know. Um, concealer? No, I don't know. I don't even know. Okay. I could, it could be, I'm not sure. All right. So then I'm just going to pop this in. And you may notice at the bottom, I'm just going to let that sit there just for a second, but you may notice I have enamel dots. This is so, I have the big one, the big fella at six o'clock and they're in seashore, of course, um, the enamel dots. And I have two little fellas over here helping guide me home. This is at the bottom. This is always at the bottom for starting position for me. Always, always, always at the bottom. Okay. Now, what do we want to bet that I, oh, no cat fur. Usually, even though it's a fresh opened pack, uh, double time, life, maybe <laughs> double time. Yes. I'm trying to work double time. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So hopefully I did line that up. Not paying attention. That's a good thing. It does it for you. You don't have to pay attention. All right. So now because I think it just adds a little soup, so I am going to cover my obsidian and I am going to take out the clear embossing powder. I'm sorry, Han. I know another quick, quick little, quick little uh, detour here, but that's why it's a crafty adventure with me because you never know where we're going to go or what we're going to do. Alrighty. But I think this adds a little something, something because it's shiny and it's raised and it's just a little class, you know, and it's simple. Just a little obsidian and some clear embossing powder on its side. Um, if that works in your space, Tracy, sure. Um, this is just what happens to work in my space. So definitely when you get yours home, you can see what works. Um, I just have a helper that can jump anywhere and do anything she wants anytime. So <laughs> I don't need her being like, oh, I want to create a card. My mom's asleep. Let me open the stamp wheel, you know, and, and that really could cross Emery's mind. She really could think that. So she does love to craft almost as much as I do. Almost, almost. So, yeah. So that's the thing you, when you get it into your space, I know hand, hand and angel, man, they are right on it. They always know my, sometimes they know my moves before me, which is a little scary because I hadn't even thought of it. And they're there. Like, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's like they can read my mind. Okay. So here's our first card. Now, do you, can you pick out where our stencil had our little whoop whoop? <laughs> no, it's just a beautiful card. It's just beautiful because you see the, I love you more than words can explain. And then you just want to be like, oh, my dear friend, me too. You know, you're not like, oh, wait, um, right there. I can see it right there. So <laughs> keep that in mind. All right. So our other one. Now, you know, I don't often do square cards. I should. I should. I have so many lovely friends across the pond. But we're going to go here. And I'm going to do it, A, because we're running out of time. And B, because I don't want to get obsidian all over my fingers before I stamp it again. And C, so you're saying, you're sitting there, and I can hear you. But what if you're off center, Bridget? What are you going to do if you're off center? How do you fix it? It's stamped. It's embossed. It's beautiful. What do you do? What I would do is I would just trim it down. So I would just have a panel. So I would put this on. I would take my emerald and I'll show you. I'll show you how I fix it. We got a couple minutes. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, we got to do our makeup brush here. Blender. I don't even know what that is. That first base you put on, you know, like our first ink level. I don't even know what that's called to make up. Oh, goodness. All right. I know it's supposed to match your skin tone, though. 
cover up. I think that's what we called it in my in high school. I think it was cover up. But I don't know if that's the same as concealer. I have lots of questions when it comes to that. So we'll move on. <laughs> so woot, woot, woot. Beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to lift it up ever so carefully. And actually, I'm okay with the placement. I'm not hating on the placement at all. Like, I would not trim this down. I would put this on a 5x5 five five card, which I have in the other room because I've had them for years and I just have never thrown them out. Because you know how that is. You're like, but I might use it someday. And today is that day, my dear friends. All right. And just making sure I don't have a lot of excess that has wandered. As you saw, I treated it pretty good uh, with the little pack thingy majiggy baggy thing there. Now, the great thing about this is because there is a small, you know, gap there, because you put your stamp on and then you push it down. I can just leave this on here. See, and it's not touching my photopolymer there. You can see there's a gap like right there. So it's not touching anything. See, perfect. So I can just set it up top now since I'm here. And then we will heat set this. I got a little long. I was almost flipped this over to wipe it off on the back. I caught myself because I would have. Oh, the struggle is real some days. The crafty supplies attack. They're like, yeah, you know, you want to get that off the back. Just flip it over. It's okay. All right. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. We need some heat embossing tunes. All right, get this. I don't want to burn my camera, so I'm not. Uh, there you, go. you can kind of see it now. And it, because I used it before, it's already pretty toasty. I just want to get that last. I feel like if I do it from the front, it always looks a little bubbly to me. It looks smoother if I do it for the back. Oh, I'm so sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Watch some crafty videos while you're healing. That is always very healing. So, and then, then come back to this and look, okay? And just see, look at the drastic difference, okay? And it's, the, the difference is, I mean, granted, they did use the, which we didn't get to play with today, but there's always another day, always another day. Didn't get to play with this, but that's, you know, what they did there. But look how drastic of a difference. And we just changed ink colors. So that's that's all we changed. Um, you know, so that's the exciting thing. I think about these stencils is how versatile they are. You're only limited by the ink colors that you want to combine and how wild and crazy you want to go with all of the inks, which is always we want to go wild and crazy with all the inks. So we have those there. I'm just trying to move them out so you guys can see. And again, if you haven't seen this stamp set, it really is just gorgeous. And I love that it has the two types of different fonts. Um, the one that got me um, was this top one, the one I used today. Um, we, had a, we have a sign in our living room that says, you are loved more than words could ever explain. And it used to look where my husband sat. So um, that just... <laughs> that's what got me. But again, it sat on my wish list and I finally treated myself. I was so excited. So, so here are the cards that we have created today. And I hope that if you guys, oh, thank you so much, everybody. And, and Aram and yes. And yeah. So I hope that if you guys try these, um, that you'll share. And again, remember this one, we used four different inks. This one, we use two. So you can still get the variability in color. You can still get the bang for your buck with two ink colors. Just depends on how heavy or how light you go. Um, you know, and keep always keep Peach Perfect in mind when you use Martian Terrain. It's just, they're, they're like neighbors that are just, have been friends for years. They're a perfect, uh, perfect kind of companion. I'm sorry we didn't end up using the groovy words or I had pulled so many fun things for today. Um, but unfortunately an hour goes really super fast. Like 
I don't even realize how fast an hour goes. I'm like, I better pull a couple more things. And then the hour's gone. So, but that just speaks to us having fun crafting and the amazing folks that I shared this with. So thank you so much uh, to Han behind the badge, knowing the lefts and rights and the quick turns. I appreciate it oh so much. Thank you so much to all of you to, for joining us um, in our little crafting adventures that we have. And thank you so much for you um, from all of us at All to New for allowing us to help you craft your lives. We will see you all very, very soon with some more crafty fun. Until next time, bye.